What is up everybody? And today I'm going to bring to you another gold farm. And uh, in this farm we're going to be farming some old mats. And you're probably going to be asking yourself why we're going to farm old mats. Because they're not going to sell. Well, right now in World of Warcraft, since we're like just transitioning between live and the pre-patch uh, for Battle for Azeroth. There's some things that are going to be removed. And one of those things is first aid. And uh, before I go ahead and keep explaining uh, everything about first aid and all that stuff, um, I'd like to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And also check out the links in the description. I've got some cool stuff down there for you guys. Especially like, I've got like my entire setup if you're interested in stuff like that. And just cool stuff. But, so the thing with first aid, along with a couple other things, is they're actually being removed. So with, for, with the removal of first aid, we're going to see the removal of all the achievements. And all those achieve achievements are going to turn into legacy achievements, which obviously you cannot get if you don't level it up now. So if you go ahead and take a look at your market or any market, um, for example, uh, you can see the price of cloth is just kind of steadily going up a little bit by little bit. And people are buying a ton of it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be showing you an old farm to an old uh, place to pick up cloth. And we're going to show you how much it sells for in the auction house, how much I was able to actually pump out within the hour, and uh, how you can do it too. And just so you know, this cloth sells off the auction house super fast. Like, it, you put it up and you sell it in like 10 minutes. Especially if you're undercutting by like just a little amount, it's definitely worth it. And not a lot of people I see are doing this right now because they don't really, I don't even know, they don't think about it or something. But the few people that are, are making tons of gold very quick. And uh, as you guys can probably see, I think I jumped up 15k in just one day, uh, just doing this with cloth. And that was, I only did a few runs, so I literally only did like half ass, like 10, 15 minute runs, because I was like busy, I had something to do, and it, it worked out quite well for me just in that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to take you to the location, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video, take you to the farming location, tell you everything you need to know about it, and then I'm going to set you guys up, and you guys should be... Uh, be good to go and uh, yeah that's that's about it so I'm gonna cut the video now and we'll see you at the farming location what's up everybody it's King Kunta and we're back after that cut and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna be farming and where so today we're at the Scarlet Monastery which is in Trisfall Glades and uh, it's right next to the Undercity so if you're a horde it's gonna be very convenient for you to go to and if you're Alliance you're just gonna have to take uh, the flight path uh, from Stormwind that's just the easiest way to get here so today we're going to be farming silk cloth. I actually don't think I have any more in my inventory because I sold off most of it. But uh, today that's that's what we're farming. I'm going to go ahead and teach you how I farm it and uh, the best way to go about it in these farms. So the first thing we're going to be farming is for the silk cloth and also we're going to get a chance for some transmog pieces to drop. So when you first come in this room with the um, inst instance location, well, you're going to want to go on the one to the left first because you can get more cloth off the one to, uh, on the left. And I'm basically just going to teach you how I run the entire dungeon in order to get um, the amount of cloth that I do. And the reason we're farming cloth now is because thanks to the fact that first aid is becoming removed, um, we're actually going to have a big influx of players trying to get the achievements for it. So first thing that you want to do when you run in is you're going to want to aggro all these. Also, I probably should have popped Bear Tartar, but I didn't yet. So you're just going to want to basically pull the entire instance. Um, now there are lore parts in this dungeon and in the other one that I'm going to show you after this, but they're not um, super uh, painful to go through basically. So I did just kill that guy and not loot him because I'm mainly interested in the cloth. Uh, you, there is transmog pieces that drop off of him, but for the sake of the video, I decided not to like, loot those. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to come get these people. And now I have showed uh, my viewers this dungeon before, uh, but it was for different reasons and it was uh, for the transmog aspect. So today we're only looking at this farm purely for the fact that we can get... Uh, tons of cloth and it will sell off the auction house quite quick and uh, Honestly, I probably shouldn't be telling you all these cloth tricks because not a lot of people know that this is uh, pretty popular right now So basically after you get everyone in this courtyard, which can, can kind of be a pain in the butt sometimes So 
obviously if you have a class that has any speed uh, enhancement stuff like that it's way more useful um, I normally have bear tartar active and maybe I'll take down a mob every once in a while and uh, just to give me that boost so I can go ahead and aggro everything and clear it out much quicker now if you do it the way that I'm doing it which is like full aggro everything you're obviously going to get more cloth uh, I can see about 60 and 100 cloth uh, each run just doing this and it does sell very quickly off the auction house and uh, it's not worth a whole lot of gold but the thing is is it can potentially bring you uh, hundreds of thousands of gold with much little effort so as you can see we basically aggroed everything over here so we're just gonna all kind of pull it together in a circle now and uh, we'll just use our AOE spell and that'll be the end of all of these as you can see there we killed all those and uh, if you want to come back but we're gonna go ahead and loot these get a couple of greens get some cool stuff 35 silk cloth not too bad on that one and let's see there's more of it and we got a little bit of mage weave as well so let's see here I'll go ahead and kill the rest of these I guess why not oh there we go and uh, nothing else to loot here and now we can continue in and we can pull aggro from the rest of the instance now after this part it is a lower part if you want to kill the boss and keep heading towards your um like transmog like chances of you getting stuff like that you can go ahead and do that it's entirely up to you i do kill the boss because i do like having a chance at some of this higher level transmog that will drop out of this location uh, obviously up to you and we got to get these out of here okay go ahead and kill these guys too let's see Bit more silk all right so we're gonna go ahead and kill him he you can just one shot him but now you have to wait after the lore part and the left dungeon the one that we are doing is the one that has the uh, highest potential for uh, cloth to drop and transmog that's why we attempt the left first uh, it it always works out better to do the left one because you have shots at shots at a ton of the scarlet pieces and stuff like that and it's uh, quite useful so we'll see no nope, no transmog now now what you can do now is you can unstuck or run all the way back to the instance and I am dumb and I do it the long way but that's just because of me and uh, other than that that's really all you need to know the other dungeon is pretty straightforward you just do the entire dungeon you don't have to pull or you can pull the entire instance it just doesn't give out as much cloth as this one because this one is quite easy to run into and out of so you can see we got 54 so it wasn't a very good run then but you can just go in and out of this one constantly and actually I every single time I farm this dungeon I have not hit instance lock so, or I have hit instance lock sorry so if you want to take your time and uh, go from the other one across as well then you can reset and it uh, won't be such a pain in the butt because you will uh, hit 10 runs before you are able to reset the entire dungeon so that's just uh, something to keep in mind uh, for what's going to happen and other than that I don't really have much else um, if you like the video uh, I encourage you to subscribe and uh, you know like the video subscribe all that good stuff go ahead and check out the links in the description because I always put amazing great stuff in the link in the description below uh, you can go check that out and I think that's it. Um, thanks to everyone that's for that's supporting me. It's quite hard to upload videos constantly, but I try to make it work. Um, every single person that subscribed or posts a comment below that says they like my video it really helps me out, and it shows me that I'm doing something that is worth, you know, other people's time. Like I'm helping people, and it makes me feel good. Um, so you know, if you want to post down below, notification squad. Uh, can you post hashtag notification squad and that way I'll know to like and love your comment and leave me a special m message. Um, I know it's probably going to be super sarcastic as every single one of the messages I get are, but I love every single one of them and that's all I have to say for you guys. So I will see every single one of you beautiful people in the next video and also don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and watch more.
YouTube videos. And I'll also be coming out with new ways to farm claw soon. So yeah, bye. Don't forget about that. Also, be looking out for that. All right, do it. Trick bye. Go find, go farm a uh, frostweave cloth because it's the next big ticket and it's selling a lot. And if you watch to the end, then you'll know. Okay, bye. Love you.